for round two. I thought while I was on the makeup kick that I would just go ahead and share a few more makeup products with you guys. Um, and this is a haul on Coastal Scents. Um, I have read some things on YouTube and watched some videos about Coastal Scents, but I was kind of skeptical because it seems like it's pretty cheap and I thought that maybe the quality would probably be more like drugstore quality. But um, one of my girlfriends actually ordered some of the stuff and I saw the quality of Coastal Scents. And when I saw the quality of the stuff that she ordered, I decided that I had to have some also. So um, the first thing that I ordered was, kind of got it a little dusty here, but it's the 88 Metal Mania Palette. And it is fabulous. Um, I was actually thinking about ordering the uh, Naked from Urban Decay, but I kind of put it off, and then by the time I got around to ordering it, it was sold out everywhere except for certain places online. And then the places online, they wanted you to pay $70 for it instead of the 40 or 44 bucks that you can get it for in the store. And really, I love the colors and the Naked palette, but I thought, well, I mean, heck, this is pretty much the same stuff, and it's a lot of the same colors, and I have a lot of Urban Decay um, eyeshadow, and it's very comparable to this eyeshadow. And another great thing about Coastal Scents is I think all of their stuff um, is really good quality because it's, I think maybe it's organic and natural, because I know they sell the, um, all the natural shea butters and stuff online, and I believe all of it may be made in Africa. So that's kind of cool, um, and I think you guys should definitely check it out if you're out there and you wanted the Naked palette but it's sold out and you don't want to pay that much for it, definitely check out this Coastal Scents. I'm going to open it up now and show you guys the colors. And by the way, I think this whole thing was only, um, I think it was $30. So, awesome. And it came with... It looks very professional the way that it's made. I don't know if you can see it because of the lights, but it came with a little mirror. And then if you take this out, look at all of those colors. It's just so pretty. And you can mix and match. I'm kind of overwhelmed right now because I really don't know which colors to wear with what. Um, so I'm just kind of experimenting. But you can go and wear the colors down the line and go this way and mix and match, or you can go this way and mix and match. Um, but it's pretty awesome, and it's what I have on my eyes today. I just kind of tried to do um, like a, a natural smoky eye with some brown metallic and like a grayish silver. Um, I didn't really have a, a rhyme or reason. I just thought I would try it and see how it turned out, and I think it turned out kind of pretty. Um, but I really love this, so I highly suggest it, and especially if you don't want to spend a lot of money on your makeup, but you want something better than drugstore quality. So, as you can imagine, I mean, the eyeshadows, they're small, but seriously, how many times do you wear eyeshadow? I think, I know, I know some of y'all out there um, are watching this, and you have tons of nice, expensive eyeshadow in your cabinets that you are not wearing right now, or you bought it and you've wore it once or twice, and you're not going to wear it again. I mean, you're going to get a lot of wear out of this, people. Okay, so I'm off my soapbox on that. And I also even got a little sample, which is really neat. And this sample is called Bloom Shadow. And it's not potted. It was just a little loose kind of shadow. If I can get it open. Um, and it's just a real pretty kind of a bright pink color. I don't even know if you can see it because of the light. But very pretty and I guess you could even kind of wear this a little bit as a blush if you wanted to just do like a powder blush um, or you can mix it or blend it and wear it as an eyeshadow. And I also purchased these. I think these were maybe 13 bucks or something. They were pretty cheap. I got it when all their brushes were 40% off. And it's just a little travel kit. 
travel brushes. And it's neat because it's got the little zipper pocket. So you could put some lipsticks or something down in there. And then here's the brushes. And this is another thing. This is quality, people. These brushes are great. I mean, I have some brushes from Chanel, and I have brushes from MAC and Bare Minerals. And this, this is good stuff. And sometimes, the only thing about these is because, they, however, these are travel size. So if you prefer a longer brush, or you can work better with a longer brush, I probably wouldn't get these. But I thought these would be great um, to travel with and just use while I'm traveling. And then I also picked up a couple of lip glosses. Okay, people, these lip glosses, they're like five bucks, and they are awesome. I have on right now this one, and it's called Near Peach. It's just a really pretty peachy color, and it's a really kind of a neutral color, but it also gives you kind of a oomph of color um, for fall, so it's good to wear with some kind of neutral eyeshadow, or you could even do a smoky eye and wear this. And then this is Sheer Crimson, and I picked this up. And like I said, again, I have some Chanel lip glosses. Um, I have a couple of lip glosses from MAC and Bare Minerals, and I do love the Bare Minerals Booksome um, because it kind of plumps your lips up and tingles, which these do not plump your lips, but um, they stay on great. And they're very pretty. The color's great. Um, Again, this is sheer crimson, and it's just a pretty color. So I think both of these are going to be great for fall. Um, and again, five bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong. So definitely check out Coastal Scents and let me know what you guys think.